What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to episode number 177 today of the My Player Career Mode. Of course, guys, as you know, yesterday's episode was a little bit mixed bag of results. We had a boring game to kick started off with a nil-nil draw. I'll show you how we got on, actually, off, uh, off that um, last episode. So, as you know, we started with a nil-nil draw. Then we ended with a 2-1 defeat in the Cup quarterfinal, which was a very annoying defeat to have indeed. And then we ended off with a 4-0 win. So, last episode was kind of not really sure what on earth was happening because some games we were playing well, other ones we were playing pretty bad. Um, today we do have a, a cup game against AJ Oxair, but I'm not going to play it, guys. I am going to go ahead and sim this one here. Um, the only reason for that is, one, it is only the round of 32, so to uh, my opinion, it's not that important for us. And we won it anyway 3-1 without me having to play in it, so there you go. So, we are going to kickstart today's episode off with that game against AS Monaco. Hopefully, it'll work out in our favour and we'll get the victory. Also, hopefully, the sound is okay. I know, of course, I'm recording this pretty much after I've recorded the other one. So, I haven't actually seen that episode go live. So, I'm hoping it sounds okay for you guys. It's a bit higher volume. So, without further ado, guys, we are going to get straight underway in today's episode. Our opponents, AS Monaco, are ready to go. We are ready to go. That's the team we've got. Without further ado, let's do this. We played Monaco not too long ago, actually. It was in the stream we actually played them. We drew nil-nil with them. So, chance of redemption here. There is the team for you guys. If you are wondering who is still playing for them, Lamar, Bakayoko, Mendy, and Nadi still in the team for them there. So, not too bad indeed. So, we're into game one, guys. I'm hoping it's going to be a better episode today in terms of entertainment value for you guys than it was in yesterday's. So, I don't know, by the way, guys, if I'll be streaming later on tonight, if anybody is wondering... Probably not. I am going to make a second video for the day, which should come out at 6 p.m. UK time, guys. So make sure you don't miss that. Um, the only reason for that is I'm out pretty much all day. I'm off to uh, to meet someone and spend the day, I guess, going around, having some fun, and then maybe going to have some food. So honestly, I don't know if I will be back by the time it comes to stream. So it could be like a 9 o'clock finish, or it could be like I might be done by about 6. So I'm not going to say I'll stream tonight, guys, because truly, I don't know whether or not I'll be back in time. So there will be a second video going live at 6 p.m. for you all to enjoy. So, yeah, make sure you stay tuned for that. But, of course, the 4 o'clock upload this one. We want to have a good day today. Uh-oh, mistake made by the defender. Now I have a chance to actually do something with the ball on my feet. And somehow Mendy got back and did it, but I got it back. Rabi, oh, it's 1-0. Just like that, we have taken the lead. There's me saying it's going to be a nil-nil ball game again, guys. But, do you know what? This is the fourth goal I have been a part of consecutively and we haven't had an assist. Oh my goodness. Seriously, guys. Another time that we are part of a goal that goes in and it's not an assist. That's a fourth consecutive goal that wasn't scored by me that we've had in an episode that I've been part of and not had an assist in. It's crazy. We've, we've done that four times now in the last two episodes. Stupid. But anyways, we have the goal. That's what I wanted to see. And although we don't get the credit assist, I guess, it still matters that we lead the game here. So it's not nil-nil, and we are not going to get a nil-nil boring game to start today's episode of with. So already, this has been a better start to this episode than what we had last time. I can't really complain, can I? Uh-oh, mistake made by the defender again. Got a chance to try and take the strike on. It's going to be blocked on its way through. But I have got straight back on the ball as well. So try and play little one-twos. My teammates here to open up a little bit of space, maybe, for us. Give that backwards. Don't do anything stupid like turning to him. This is nice. Rabio 1 2. Vorye. Ori out wide to Edouard. That is really nice play. And sadly, Edouard cannot hit the target with it. That was. I have to give credit where credit's due. For once, that wasn't disappointing. Right? That was okay play, to be honest. I haven't had a shot this game. Um, so that's the only disappointing thing about the first game of today's episode. But all in all, the boys are playing some pretty nice stuff. Monaco with the last chance to the loon to try and get the score back to 1 1. It's blocked, but he falls again. And that's a great save. Brilliant save from our goalkeeper. Denies Monaco at a last-minute equaliser. Now, keeper is up. So if we can clear this, I'm in behind to make the score. It's going to have out of play. Are you kidding me? We didn't even have a shot. I didn't even get to shoot in this game. Oh, I did, and it was blocked in the middle of the box. But, again, I don't know whether or not to be disappointed or not. We got the three points. I mean, like we created like one chance. I don't really know how to feel about the first game. But ultimately, we got the three points. That kind of matters. But at the same time as well, I would like to actually have a chance, please. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Anyways, 1-0 win. We do get the three points. It was a good save from our keeper to deny them equaliser late on. And if my teammate was able to keep the ball in play, I would have been able to run through and probably score the open net. But hey-ho, you can't work on ifs and buts. We do get the three points and we'll move on into the next game where hopefully I'll actually get a chance. 
And into game number two we go, guys. Again, that is the team on the screen. We will check out our opponents once we are in game. And that is our opponents then for you guys. Again, you can check out the names, see if you recognize any players there. Probably not because we are so far in that a lot of them will be game generated. But as I said, game two coming up. We didn't have a great game one personally. Uh, the team got the three points, but my personal performance wasn't great. Then again, there wasn't much service to me. So game two to come, surely we're going to get at least a shot in this game. Ball down the right for us to chase. The first chance of the game coming in 18 minutes here now, guys. And I tried to cut it onto the left to be able to put a cross in. And that then made us injured. That's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. I can't... I don't know what's wrong with me at the minute, guys. I'm just not playing good FIFA. Um, I don't know what I'm doing. Like, seriously, that was so bad of me. Why not I just hit the cross with the right foot? Don't know why I tried to take it left-footed. My guy's actually trudging off as well, so I can't even control him. And uh, we will get a corner ball from that one. Are we going to have to come off, or am I allowed to be able to complete the game? I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Corner whips in. Keeper comes out. Well, actually, wears the same kit. At first, I thought it was my own teammate there jumping up for that one. He's got a similar type of kit on to us. But now it's waiting to see whether or not we are injured, which will then make these last kind of few games even more enjoyable as well, won't they? Because, like, yeah, recently, I don't know what's going wrong. I just can't play well. The team aren't playing well. And yet, we still get results here and there. It is really kind of strange because I don't know what's going on. But start off the side of the minute. We'll see. Helmer onto the edge of the area instead of going into it. And then I do a really good turn before I fire a right-footed shot. Not just wide of the post, but I fire it miles wide of the post. Unless that's, that's what I've injured, I have no other excuse as to what on earth happened there. It could be down to the injury. It could be just because I suck. I mean, it's one or the other. Um, it may be probably the second of the two. I do, I do genuinely really suck at this game. Like, hella suck at the minute. I just can't get a lucky break. I don't know what's wrong with me. Um, but that shot was absolutely horrendous. Unfortunately, guys, the injury has forced us off. We have been substituted at halftime. So, Augustine will return to take my place. Um, we'll watch the game play out, and then that'll probably be us injured for a few weeks. But, truthfully, again, another boring game. Another game where I've been horrific. I don't know why. I'm just not playing very well at the moment, and I don't really know why. I don't know if it's my kind of... My dip in form, or I just have no idea what's wrong with me at the minute. I can't seem to get a lucky break. That's one thing that I know for sure, though. So, we had another shot in this game. You can blame it on the injury, but truthfully, it's because I suck at the game. And we ended up hitting it not just wide, miles wide. So, I'm not on the pitch of this one. We'll see whether or not the rest of the lads can get the three points on the board. And then it may be a situation where we're simming a few games because I'll be out injured. All of a sudden, when I'm off the pitch, the lads are playing like Barcelona. They're playing some really good football. I must, have an, I must just have a negative impact on the team. I don't know what's going on at the minute, but that was really nice what they just did to create the opportunity. We get a corner from it now. 30 minutes to go here in this game. Bakali stood over the corner. He's going to go short. Yes, he is. Augustine on it. Gives it off to the locker. Telly on the edge of the area. Who's turns. Gets his back to goal. Strikes it regardless. And it's wide of the post. Good work from Locatelli Locca to get himself the shoot, shot, in, oh, shot opportunity. And um, sadly, he didn't find the back of the net with it. Oh, that is brilliant. That is absolutely brilliant. What a fantastic piece of passing play that was. That was a really nice tongue twister there as well, guys. Anyways, look at this. I was sat there looking at my computer thinking, what have we got to do to win a game? And then all of a sudden, I mean, did you just see how that was really dangerous? What happened to Jose Rodriguez? Land on his head. But Kazawa dinks the ball through to him. He beats the keeper to it as well. Gets it over the top of him, and it's going to be 1-0 PSG with 14 minutes remaining. Hesse Rodriguez has scored the goal that's got us in the lead here. And that was an absolutely lovely move. I have to say that for sure. But I'm gutted because why can we not do this when I'm on the pitch? I must genuinely be a negative influence on this team, guys. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but they seem to be playing better without me. And there it is, guys. 90th minute whistle gone. We have come away with a 1-0 win. So, I wasn't on the pitch for it. And uh, the boys seem to get a goal without me on there, which is really cool. Um, but, I will see exactly what happens regarding the whole situation if I am injured for the long term. Because, if I'm injured long term, then it could be a very quick goodbye to the series. If I'm not, um, then we'll have to see what happens regarding that. So, uh, yeah. Okay, so, we are out for three weeks for a sprained ankle. So, not too long, guys. It's not really that harsh on us. Um, so we'll see what happens in that aspect of it. We've got SC Mets to come. So I'm going to miss a fair few games here. I won't miss, like, loads and loads, but I will miss a, quite a few, as you can see. 
We might miss that first game against Atletico Madrid in the round of 16. In fact, we probably will miss that one. And uh, we'll probably be back for Bordeaux. So I'm going to miss a fair few here, guys. So we'll start to sim through them right now for you guys before we end today's episode off. But I will be ending the episode off once we probably sim these ones here. So starting off with then FC Mets, which I'm not picked for due to the injury. Augustin has to uh, come on in my place. Let's see what we can do. So we're 1-0 down after five minutes. Not quite the start you want when you're playing this game here. And I've just realized as well, guys, it could be even worse for us because I don't know what our current situation in the league looks like. But we have got an equalizer. It comes from on Genda with the, uh, with the goal there. I don't know if I got that right or if I got it wrong. But we are 1-1 in this game here. Can we steal a last-minute winner or will they do it? Or is it going to be a 1-1 draw? Come on. Come on. 90th minute. Okay, 1-1 one, one draw. So, not terrible. Um, but, at the same time, not great. So, in terms of our league position then, that's currently how it stands. Nice have a game in hand, and they are six points behind. So, uh, yeah, we'll see. what we, We'll see. I mean, a few more games to go. I'm assuming we'll still be top at the end of the episode today, but we'll have to wait and find out. Second game about to come off of the sim. Bunch of games that we're going to have, and it comes against Dad Reyes. And Bacali has given us... A lead already one minutes into it. So can we hold on? Pick up a victory here. I'm going to keep note on the right hand side of the screen just to see what other games are happening. Because of course we want to see if Nice end up losing their games or not. They are losing at the moment to lose. But I think to lose are actually pretty high up in the league as well. So they could be a problem for us, not just Nice. Uh, we are 2-1 in this one here. Uh, Dembele scored. Locatelli also makes it 3-1. Nice do equalize. So for them, it's a, it's a point. But we do pick up three. As I said, though, I'm not sure um, as to whether or not Toulouse were quite high up in the division. And therefore, it might be a better result than I was th first thinking. So, FC Lorient to come now in the Coupe Nationale. And then we play them in the league straight after this. So, this again could be an interesting one. Uh, so, we'll start this one off. Again, I mean, there's no point me keeping late scores on if there is any other games. Because this one doesn't matter. It's a cup game. We have taken the lead through on Genda, though. So, it looks as if we might be able to go on and win this one. Imagine if we could play in a final as well. That would be also a bonus to have. Playing another final before we end the series off. But, of course, I want to try and play in a Champions League final as well. So, that's the aim at the moment. We've got 1-1 one, one currently as it stands. 2-1 now. Eduard adding a second to the mix. And we have held on for a 2-1 win. There you go. Good result. On to the next one, which is another game against FC Laureate now. I understand... You know, we're going through this really fast, guys. But, of course, I am injured and I want to make sure that the next episode we start, I will be able to play in it. So, next one coming up, this time away from home against Lorient. This time it's in the league as well. Looking for a similar result that we just got. Montpellier won no down in their game. I only need to keep note of uh, Nice at the moment, though. So, hopefully they end up with a bad result if they are playing at the moment. Bordeaux leading. Uh, Montpellier won one. Uh, I don't think anything's happened just yet that has any relevance to us. Hesse has scored. There we go. So we do take the lead in this one. Eduard adds a second to the mix on top of that as well. 2-0 at the moment. Good result if we can hold on. And we have held on to a 2-0 win. So that means, guys, in fact, I will check out the league table right now just to see if we are miles ahead. It is a Champions League game to come. And sadly, I will play no part in the first game in the Champions League against Atletico Madrid. So it could be a bad result for us. So let's take a look then at the French League table. There it is in your uh, in its screen. Seven points ahead of Saint-Etienne. Eight ahead of Nice. And Monaco are the next one in the table. But they're quite far back. So we've got seven point lead at the moment over Saint-Etienne and an eight point lead over Nice. So we need to make sure we keep note on those two teams. But it's a big one now, guys, because we are playing Atletico Madrid, the away leg first. And sadly, I can play no part in this. So, yeah, I'm not looking forward to this sim. Let me just say that for now. We need at least a draw, I think. A draw, if we lose the game, we're going to be in a really bad situation. So, I think we need, we need at least a draw. So, as we start the sim off here... Their team on the left looks okay, actually. They've got some interesting, decent players. I mean, Sol's still there. They've got success as well. It's not bad later on in the game. It's not as good a side as I was expecting, but it's still a decent team. And there you go. Success has given them a 1-0 lead. I think we do need... Oh, no. Jota's just got a 2-0 lead. We need a goal. We need a goal, guys. Come on. Come on. Come on. And we didn't get it. Oh, dear. We didn't get it. So, we take a 2-0 aggregate lead. Deficit to the home leg at the Parc de Princes when I'm back fit. 
So we need to beat them 2-0, basically, to take it to extra time. I'm not looking forward to that. Let me say that for sure. We are back from injury, though, guys. So, of course, that does mean next episode we will be ready to go. We have that second leg to come against Atletico Madrid. And as I said, I'm not looking forward to it. A 2-0 defeat means it's going to be very tough to overturn that at the Parc des Princes. It is possible, though, and we will try our best to do so for you guys in the next episode. This is where we're going to end today's one off, though, guys, as I did have the injury, so I've had to sim a fair few games. If you have enjoyed it, a like or we would greatly appreciate it. As always, guys, thank you so much for all of your continued support on the channel. I really do appreciate it. Thank you so much as well for all of your support over the last year on FIFA 17. Not too long to go till 18 drops, guys. Cannot wait. I'll see you all again at 6 p.m. UK time tonight, guys. Catch you all later. Adios.